Welcome to another video on my BeagleBoard Classic uh, which runs uh, Ubuntu Linux right here connected to this monitor using HDMI cable connected to um, a serial terminal on another computer by using a serial cable RS232 and connected to a network as well as um, Robo interface, Fish Technique Robo interface by means of USB. Programmed in Python. Um, this interface, which has motors, digital input, digital output, um, and uh, some other things that I do not use in this project. Uh, and it um, controls this marble run or roller track whichever name you use it has two um, trajectories of course a single trajectory coming from the top down then with this motor I can use either this part of the trajectory or this part with the looping and then um, with the motor to transport the balls here and um, the problem is with this lower part of the track because balls don't always go until the end this monitor is timed out um, I don't have a keyboard and a um, mouse attached to uh, the beagle board I did in the past I can try again but um, that doesn't work quite as well um, gave me a lot of errors but I can try again see if that uh, works out I had a good image earlier but the main thing right now is also with this new part which I uh, got for free the only down to, um, the only negative part is I need an extra part which I don't have so um, nice to have but either this way or this way I don't know how to use it um, I can try in the manual but without this part it's useless So I will concentrate on this part and how to fix uh, to improve it even more than I already did. But first, let's uh, try uh, the monitor again and see how that uh, how that shows up. Although the resolution, display resolution, will not be very big. All right, then um, once again the. Um, display with virtual network so this is actually running on the beacon board the monitor which I just showed and the serial connection I showed and let me name this tab so this is the minicom serial terminal and I did connect the keyboard so let me show the keyboard Connected to the USB hub in an, in an attempt to get this uh, monitor uh, to show something again. Yeah, it's not the best. Uh, it's not a very stable situation. So let me just try it and. Oh yeah, there it comes. So, remove this one. Now you can see be better. So, let me point it actually here. And typing in a password. And that, oh, login incorrect, alright. Nope, uh, actually yes, 
that's the correct username. Let me show it better, like this. And then, yeah, typing 100 is not very good, not very nice. That is a good one. And now I expect to see something on screen. Oh, true, it has a black background. So I should use a mouse now, which I don't have attached. Can I use a key combination to have something show up? No, I don't, I need a mouse. So let's use a mouse. Let's attach one. So using the mouse, um, I actually managed to get um, this menu on screen. And I'm sorry for the uh, little bit uh, shaky camera. The question is though, where is my... Uh, ah, the, now with the keyboard I can do things. but not too nice. Let's see if this works. Okay, I need to do it a little bit different. That works better in a different corner. So, this works not very nice, but it does work. And now I can start actually a shell and that shell is right there. Hard to see for you, unfortunately. So, let me try to do it like this. Handheld again. And this is the same as you can uh, see on here, when I do it on here, you will get exactly the same thing. Wait a little, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. So I can run things from here just as well. And I've tried it in the past, but uh, that doesn't always work out quite as well because of uh, a problem with the cable or a problem uh, with the monitor, I don't know, but it works now nicely. Does this mean that I can uh, actually uh, run everything? Well, I'm now on the computer, that is the same thing like here. So it does the same. This is without VNC on the monitor, and this is with VNC, virtual network computing. So right now it doesn't matter. But to record everything, I think I better show it like this. Because that is what it is about, not about the monitor. And not the, uh, partly about the big board because everything runs on the big board. But um, a roller track. So let's run. Let's do something with it. Um, yeah, leaving that blue part out. And see how things roll. Go. And then I should, of course, say go. And the first ball already rolls out. Second ball rolls out. I don't know where and where from.
they should end up there. Okay, time to get the camera as handheld again. And this is what's happening. Here are two balls, right there. Here is one that is being held for something, so let's assist. And I better put some light on it. And with these three balls, oh, now this one has been taken. Not enough force for some reason. So let's take a look at the speed of the uh, motor, if that improves something. And yes, once again, that doesn't work very well. So let's try and see. And now, unfortunately, fun is over with the monitor. This is unwatchable. It's still readable, but you get sore eyes after uh, after some time, unfortunately. No clue what it is about. Maybe I can shut it down, uh, power off and power on, and then it's done. So, let's focus on the rest. So, this motor is this motor, which is connected to M1. So, let's go to motor 1, which is with uh, speed 1. I'm setting it to speed 2. So, that also means that I have to quit this, save, and run. And then I have to take the camera again, because I need to see if this is helping with this ball. So, go. And the answer at this moment is, yeah, what is happening anyway? Okay, it runs twice as fast, takes up a ball, and there it goes. And there are more balls in the waiting. So with my finger I uh, put them forward. So that is not really helping. And this is also not really helping, my former solution. But the more balls the better I think, because now it picks up two after each other. go entirely through. No, it even rolls back. That one rolls back as well. That one goes further, but not far enough. Oh, and of course here I still have two balls that need to be picked up. So, is it this solution? Not quite, because it's uh, 
Well, it works better with more force on the motor. But is it the intention? Not quite sure. Okay, also the other test with the monitor off and on and then see whatever it does and yes I have a nice image back so you see it yes for some reason that gets very dark not quite sure why, but you can see it. Anyway, all right, and four balls right there. Does it pick up? Yeah, one and the other one should follow, but that doesn't really do it. And unfortunately, the speed doesn't allow uh, a floating point like 1.1 or 1.5, it only takes whole numbers. Anyway, um, I think I'll leave it at that. So, um, new tries with the monitor, uh, higher speed with the chain, a, par a new part that I can't use. So I'm afraid that's it again. So, like I said, um, a monitor that is now uh, giving a nice view and yeah I can what I can do now is uh, stop the whole um, program from here from the VNC and enter it right here can I do this yes I can And it runs just as well, of course, because it's on the beagle board. And with uh, the balls right here in this array, so now it should be working again. Yep. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment or suggestion, very much appreciated. Um, you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Um, you can show your support by making a donation via either PayPal or Wired. Uh, very much appreciated. And you can also sh uh, show your appreciation by, by uh, becoming a patron and have, may have your name mentioned on my website and with my videos. More information under this video, also the URL of my website. Um, lots of pictures, also of events from Fish Technique that I attend. Um, and this is going to be continued in some way or another. Um, have a nice day and bye bye.